What's going on guys, welcome to another video, it's episode 17 of Summer Shredding, hope you're all doing well, it is Tuesday the 18th of June and it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so I've had a busy morning, it's my day off today but I've had a couple of clients at the gym, a couple of home clients, uh, I've trained and this is the first chance I've had to have a proper meal, so I've gone for 250 grams of these egg whites, I thought I'd give them a go, we've got some spinach, we've got some red peppers, some red onion and we've got five heck chicken sausages for a delicious looking meal right there, cannot wait to dig in. Uh, the calories and macros for this are up there, literally a ridiculous amount of protein, mm, pretty small amount of carbs and low fat pretty much, uh, which is going to allow me to eat a lot more carbs later on in the day which I personally prefer. So I'm going to eat this, it's going to be quite a long video today, it's going to set over the rest of the week. Um, so yeah, sit back, relax and I'll see you in the next clip. Okay, so remember two episodes ago when it was Tuesday night, it was 8 o'clock, it was middle of June, and it was pissing it down. Guess what? A, <laughs> a week later, it's Tuesday night, it's 8 o'clock, it's pissing it down, I've got to go play football. I am committed, absolutely committed. I've been up since quarter past five again. Um, but yeah, we've got to do what we've got to do. Currently, I'm on... Right, we're just going to do a little experiment. I'm on... 7,500 steps. I'm going to go play football for an hour now and then I will update you on what steppage I am on. See you in a bit. Again, uh, total steps have gone from 7,500 up to 16,200. So that's quite a few in an hour. Um, I'm going to go and get some food and I'll see you in the next clip. Morning guys, welcome back to the video. It is Thursday morning, I've got a day off. It's six o'clock. I'm just about to head to the gym for my one client of the day. And I've also got to uh, train do, 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 legs. Happy days. So I'm away to the gym just to get me uh, up and firing. Classic. Ready. There aren't many better sounds than that at six o'clock in the morning. Anyway. I'll see you when we get to the gym. Okay, so a dramatic turn of events. My 6.30 a.m. client uh, got the times mixed up. I thought it was 6.30 p.m. So I've been stood up. So that means I've had half an hour on the foam roller warming up and it's time to get into legs. So I'll stick the session on the screen now for you. And let's get into it.
we've just finished the majority of our leg session and I'm just going to take you through a quick finish it which is absolutely disgusting. Now lads, if you've never used one of these before, a booty band, you're in for an absolute treat. Ladies, I know you're all over these with them glute workouts. So if you are looking for a booty like this, or even an actual booty, check this out, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to take this band, stick it just above our knees, we're going to get into a deep squat position, and then we're going to go side to side, okay? So we're going to go big step, stay nice and low the whole time. Looking for eight each side. Okay, so we're going to do 15 squat jumps. <clears throat> ah. Ah. Okay, so three rounds, absolute destroyers and quads and glues. See you in the next one. Okay guys, welcome back to the video. As you can see, we're now home and I'm surrounded by stuff which we'll get into in just a moment. I just want to quickly talk to you about the leg session you've just seen. So, after I finished that session, I stayed at work for three, three and a half hours and edited that all together. Just made it look nice and, and in order. Um, which I absolutely love doing by the way. Like Editing the workouts is one of my favourite things about this entire summer shredding that it's forced me to do. So, just a little fact for you there. And uh, Going back to that session, um, one of the most common questions people are asking me at the moment is, as I'm getting lighter, am I losing strength? Um, and the answer to that I would, I would say is, I didn't have a lot of strength to lose in the first place, um, to be honest with you. I'm not the strongest lad around. I don't base my training around primarily building my strength. Obviously, I want to get stronger and I do want to get fitter, but I don't base my training around that sole purpose of getting stronger. So, my main sport is football. So I'm looking to get faster, looking to get fitter, improve my endurance, etc, etc. So the answer to that is A, I didn't have a lot of strength to lose, and B, surprisingly no. So I'm going to explain why that is the case as well. So obviously mass moves mass, so the heavier you are, the more likely you are to be able to push more weight. But with a couple of my primary movements, so the main focus of my pull session is a pull up or a variation off. So for me, muscle ups were always a massive goal of mine. And uh, it's taken me around two years of learning the, the actual technique, realising there is a technique, it's not just brute strength. And I've now managed to get to sets of 10, which I'm pretty happy with. Could probably go a little more, but I'm, I'm sort of suffering the technique at that time. So yeah, muscle ups are up to sets of 10. My weighted pull up, as I'm getting lighter, I'm actually able to lift a little bit more weight. So I'm able to add more weight to me. So that, that suggests that my strength is maybe coming down slowly but my weight is coming down at a faster rate so i'm sort of maintaining my strength and even increasing my strength uh, which is great and as for squats which you've seen today squats and leg press um, i don't tend to train legs very frequently during the football season i play football saturday sunday monday tuesday so in, able, in order for my legs to recover if i train them on a wednesday they're still pretty fatigued by saturday which is the most important game of the week for me so I don't tend to go heavy at all because my body just can't recover in time. So over the summer time, summer shredding, I actually increased my frequency of training legs from one, maybe one-ish times per week, usually a lot of body weight stuff I do normally, uh, to twice a week. So that massive increase of frequency is obviously going to allow me to build a bit more strength, build a bit more size, etc, etc. So today you saw I did squats in a pyramid, so I did a low weight for high reps and as I increased the weight, I decreased the reps and then came back down the other side. So today I peaked at 110 kilos, which for me is, I was absolutely made up with that. I mean, it might be some of your warm up sets, but it's all relative, do you know what I mean? And as for the leg press, never really gone over four plates a side because I've never really wanted to or tried to or felt that I was able to. Um, and today we've got seven plates aside. 
absolutely ridiculous. I felt so good during during the session that um, yeah, I just kept adding the weight and yeah, I, I was surprised myself. So I'm pretty proud of myself today. So we're all growing, we're all improving, we're all finding things out about ourselves that we didn't really know, which is absolutely awesome. Okay, so surrounded here by a load of stuff. So you've asked me so many times individually as a group to, to show you some low calorie snacks or the sort of foods that I'll be eating as I'm getting lighter and my calories are reducing. So I'm gonna show you everything that I picked up today in three, two, one. Whoa, no way! As if that worked. Oh man, magic is real, I'm telling you. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break everything down, show you what I've got, explain why I picked it up, and hopefully it'll give you loads of good ideas that you can hopefully implement into your own diet as we're starting to reduce calories, okay? So, see you in a second. Okay, so let's start off with the drinks. Uh, we'll start off on this side. So, at the moment, I'm not drinking tea. I don't drink coffee at all. So, I'm having zero caffeine from hot drinks. Um, recommended daily allowance is around 400 milligrams. So, I will opt for a monster, usually pre-workout, um, whether that's first thing in the morning or after I finish work at four o'clock in the afternoon. Always before I'm about to train, I've got some red, some white and some blue, and these are absolutely amazing. I, I, I can't get enough of these. Not that I'm addicted, but I, so I can get enough, but you know what I mean. Uh, white's my favorite, blue is probably a close second, and red is my missus favorite, so I've got a case of those for her as well. Um, Next one we're going to go into is Pepsi Max Raspberry. So I have regular Pepsi Max, cherry and raspberry. And I have one of these most evenings um, just as I'm sitting, sitting down relaxing at the very end of the day. Uh, just because I've been drinking water all day. Had one of these, need a bit of flavour in my fluids. Um, <laughs> sounds a bit weird. And uh, last one, I've seen these today so I thought I'd pick them up and give them a try. Each one has got... Uh, 13 calories in, so three calories, around 10 calories each, 13 calories, I can just about fit that into my, uh, my calories for the day. We've got some Fanta grape, zero added sugar, and some Fanta pink grapefruit. Not tried any of those yet, so I'm looking forward to that. Right, next we're gonna get into the savory stuff. Okay, so here we are, we're gonna start off with these bagels on the side, so if you've been watching all the episodes so far, you'll have seen that I discovered bagel thins. I mean, I'm probably about two years behind everyone else, but, I've never really needed to, now I really need to, and I'm a big fan of a bagel. So, I've uh, done most of my shopping at Tesco, but I nipped into Asda today, because I'm on the hunt, if anyone knows, I'm on the hunt for some white chocolate cocoa pops. So if you see any, let me know, I'll pick them up, and I'll pay you in loads and loads of money. Um, okay, so we've picked up in Asda today some uh, bagel fins, but these are wholemeal ones, so soft seeded, sorry. So they're just brown bagels basically, and 128 calories per bagel. So the regular bagels, as, as I say, are like 240, 220 to 240. These are way, way, way less calories, and you barely notice a difference in size, okay? Uh, we've also picked up some cinnamon and raisin bagel things as well, which is absolute wizardry. Um, anyone that knows me knows how much I love cinnamon. Uh, so these are awesome with peanut butter and banana, as you've seen in, in an earlier episode, okay? Right, next we're going to go over to this side and um, trial these the other day, tried them in the latest video and these are absolutely amazing, they taste way better than I thought, um, so yeah, picked up two more of those, it just eliminates any fat out of your egg, so in an egg there's around 6-7 to seven grams of fat, in this there is zero, it's literally all protein, uh, so it's a good way if you're struggling to get your protein in, you could have a whole egg and add a few of these egg whites in, it's going to increase your protein but not increase your fat or your carbs, okay? And um, next one we've got is these four bags of different cauliflower rice. So we've got cauliflower rice with flavoured tomato and garlic and herbs, 40 calories per serving. Uh, we've got veggie rice, rice, sweet potato, slightly higher, but 50 calories per serving. There's two servings per bag in each of these, by the way. So this whole bag is 100 calories. A whole bag of microwave rice is about 350, I'd say, 350, 360. Um, so we're saving a lot of calories there. We've got plain cauliflower rice, um, because I stole my missus the other day and I had to buy one back. Um, and we've also got some cauliflower rice with broccoli. As if you could have all that fun in one bag, eh? Who knew? At 25 calories per serving. So half a bag of this, 25 calories, and it's the same volume as rice. 
So you're saving yourself about 150 calories, which as we get into the back end of this, we're reducing calories because we're getting lighter, appetite may be going up. So we need to find these little hacks that are going to help us. Um, and the last one I wanted to go through is I picked up some more Fry Light One Cow Spray. And uh, this is definitely not a life hack and ne definitely not a nutrition hack. So just as a comparison, I probably have maximum eight to 10 sprays of this when I'm cooking my chicken or whatever it may be, um, which is a maximum of 10 calories. This whole bottle here, so per, per 100 ml, there is 823 calories per 100 milliliters of this, 800 calories. So this is a 500 ml bottle. That is absolutely ridiculous, 4,000 calories in this. So this is how people may be slipping up. So if you just put a little sprinkle of olive oil, whether it's on your salad, whether it's coating your chicken or in your pan or whatever, it could be a secret two, three, even 500 calories without even knowing it. So yeah, get rid of this. Bring in this one cow spray. You, yeah, absolute lifesaver. And a lot of people don't even know that they're over, over eating in calories because you don't really eat this. There's no volume to it. You don't eat it and it fills you up. So yeah, there's a little hack for you. Next, we're on to the good stuff, the sweet stuff. Right, into all the good stuff now. So, we're gonna start over this side with the basic stuff. So, I've got four more boxes of my favorite protein bars. That's gonna carry me through right to the end and beyond. So we'll get rid of those, we don't need them anymore. Um, okay, so let's start at the front. So, we've got these jelly pots. So it says on them the 10 cal, but that's a lie because this uh, blueberry and black currant, four calories. And we've got raspberry, three calories. Mango and passion fruit, five calories. Cranberry and raspberry, two calories. Two calories! If you're craving something sweet, get that down your neck, you'll be sad. And another mango and passion fruit, because that one just sounded amazing. Yeah, so this whole array of jellies there is about 20 calories for all that volume. Absolutely would recommend. Okay, so let's get rid of those. See you later. Right, next we're gonna go into my Rice Krispie Squares. So I picked up a pack of each flavor. So we have got marshmallow. This is 119 calories per bar. Awesome if you need some carbs before training. We've got delightfully chocolate. And this one is uh, bear with me. 156 calories, so again, something super, super sweet, quite substantial, only 150 calories. Uh, we've got Curious Caramel and Chocolate, 153, I know that one, that's one I usually have. And then we've finally got some Choc Marshmallow, that sounds amazing, 158 calories per bar. Obviously don't go crazy and eat all four bars at a time, but you can easily fit one of those in. It's, uh, yeah, absolutely life-saving, so let's get rid of those. Right, next staple is Snacker Jacks. So I usually have the chocolate ones, they're 62 calories per, per Snacker Jack. I usually have three of these um, if I'm having a portion. Um, we've also picked up some caramel, which is slightly less. So for three of these, it's 186 calories. For three of these, it's 153. Obviously, we're not at the point where we're cutting out 30 calories, but if you need to, I'd rather have three of these than two of these, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so next we've got these. These are awesome. Obviously, when summer comes, if it ever comes, Oreo ice cream sandwiches. Amazing, and 104 calories per ice cream sandwich. These are dead nice. I have these all the time in the summer. Um, we've got these fiber one bars. So, these are new. I've not tried these before. These are like cake bars. So, we've got some carrot cake, and we've got some chocolate triple triple chocolate cake bars, and this is 89 calories per bar, 89 calories per bar. And we've got the standard five one bars that I have had before. We've got a pack of each flavor, so we've got some uh, chocolate fudge, lemon drizzle, salted caramel, and cinnamon drizzle. All of these are 90 calories or less per bite, okay? So high in fiber as well, which is good, so if you're struggling to get your fiber in, get one of these down here that sort you right out. And then the last thing we're gonna go through is Something that I've heard a lot about, but I've never actually tried myself, so I'm going to try it today with a cinnamon raisin bagel thing. So it's basically, it's a powder 
but it's peanut butter and it's got 80% less fat, which is essentially 80% less calories. So per serving, which is 12 grams of this powder, you just mix it with water, it's 50 calories. Per serving of peanut butter, you're looking at around 180 to 250. So hopefully, if this gives you the same amount and it tastes the same, we're on to an absolute winner. Because I, I, to be honest, I have cut out these with peanut butter just because this peanut butter is so high in fat and the amount of volume you get isn't really worth it for me. So hopefully this is gonna get me back on track with my bagels and peanut butter. Right, I hope something there has helped you. It's given you the idea that, oh, I quite like them and I've been not eating them because I thought they were too high in calorie. Not true. Anything here, I would absolutely be more than happy for any of you to, to get stuck into, okay? Any questions, stick them down in the comments below and I'll see you in the next clip. Okay guys, welcome back to the video. So, it is now 4 p.m. and uh, I'm just about to get my first meal of the day. So, not ideal, I know, but with the way my day has gone and filming and editing and training and blah, 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 now it's time to eat. So, I'm gonna go for some standard oats that I'll have every day, pretty much. So that's 100 grams of oats, 40 grams of whey, 250 ml of milk. Um, but I'm gonna mix up my protein today. So I've had a delivery come through. Um, usually I would use this Musculi chocolate whey protein. Absolutely amazing taste, just like Toblerone. I've been using this for about two and a half years and I'm still not bored of it. But having said that, Knowing my love for cinnamon, and I can't have any Cinnabons or anything at the moment, so just because there's too many calories for me to fit in with the rest of my appetite for the day, I've gone for this, some Ghost Cinnamon Cereal Milk Whey Protein. So I'm gonna stick a scoop of this into my oats. Uh, they also sent us a shaker, and whatever this is, it's called Pump. No idea what that is, but it's sour watermelon flavor, so complimentary I'll give it a go I suppose it's stimulant free so there's no caffeine in it so I'm not gonna die and um, yeah so I'm gonna mix up these oats and I'll give you a review in two Whoa. I'm excited okay so there's the finished product in a bowl <laughs> right let's give it a quick stir and then we'll give it a test consistency is good similar to my other protein, so it's quite fine. Right, I'm excited. I haven't tried this before, by the way, and I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, it smells amazing, it smells like a Cinnabon. If you've ever been to America and had a Cinnabon, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. That is absolutely insane. If you've ever had Golden Graham's or Cinnamon Toast Crunch or like I say Cinnabon, oh my god, this is this is like all of those rolled into one. I had a baby, and that baby is the cutest baby you've ever seen. And it smells of cinnamon. Um, if you haven't noticed, this is a 10 out of 10. Uh, right, I'm just gonna have a moment with this, finish this off, and I'll see you in the next clip. Oh, Calories and macros will be up there. Less calories than what I'd normally have for my oats in the morning, so absolute result. Okay, so at the next meal, it's now 7 p.m. and I've gone for, let me step out of the light so you can see. We've got 131 grams of chicken, we've got 112 grams of broccoli, 75 grams of asparagus, and we've got half a packet of that sweet potato rice, and we've got 50 grams of salsa. Calories and macros are gonna go up there. Absolutely ridiculous. Right, I'm gonna get stuck into this and I'll show you what we're eating next. Boom. Right, next meal, I'm gonna give this a go. This powdered peanut butter uh, with a cinnamon raisin bagel which is in the toaster and I'll show you how we get on. I'm skeptical, I'm not gonna lie. But let's see how we get on, okay. Okay, so my skepticism was uh, misplaced. This. This peanut butter is absolutely ridiculous. Look at that. It tastes amazing as well. It tastes just like peanut butter. It can change the consistency. So if you like it a bit runny, you can have it runny. If you like it thicker, you just add less water. Um, next video, I will show you how I made it because I didn't want to make an absolute fool of myself live on recorded TV. Okay, so the calories and macros for this, which is one cinnamon raisin bagel, uh, 15 grams of the peanut butter, and 80 grams of banana is up there. 
and I'm going to get stuck into this and show you what we've finished off our macros with today. Okay, see you in the next clip. And we've reached the final meal of the day. It is now 8 p.m. at night. And I've gone for the standard um, 200 grams of skier vanilla yogurt. We've got 100 grams of raspberries, 100 grams of strawberries, 60 grams of blueberries. Uh, we've got 68 grams of fuel chocolate protein granola. Um, and I've also got salted caramel grenade bar. And we're going to try one of these chocolate marshmallow squares that I picked up today. So the final calorie macros for this meal are up there. Totals are going to be there. And thank you so much for sticking with me for the, this video. I appreciate it. it's a long one, but hopefully there's plenty in there that's going to help you. Um, yeah, I appreciate your, your viewing time, your watching me, and I'll see you in the next one.